Alright, and welcome back to part three. We're going to be going through the Illinois section. Uh, and depending on how much time goes by, we might also ho hop up into the Minnesota section. Uh, but here is where the tracks start to get longer. Uh, most of those were really shorter tracks. This is going to be a rather long one. Alright, we're taking out an Inferno again. And I'd like to keep the second and third round kind of as a mystery. Yep, we we'll just take a look at this track, by the by. As usual, the stadium is overflowing. Three, yeah, it's a long track. Two, Look at that map. One, go. Yeah, welcome to the uh, tracks where the laps are going to take Sir, about a minute a piece. If you're really smooth and you can get it done really quickly, uh, you might only need it for, you know, 55. You know, it's going to be incredibly long, each one of these tracks. And you got to do it nine times, three per, uh, three per round. Oh, Jesus. I thought I had a little bit more uh, oomph to that jump, but I, in fact, did not. But here's the thing, like, the more intricate these uh, maps become, the harder it is for the AI to really process it all. So, for example, uh, there's going to be one later that's got, like, revolving, like, uh, I don't want to say revolving doors, but that, I think, is the best uh, visual comparison. Yeah, this, this one lap took 48 seconds, and like the last three, you can do all three laps in like a minute and 15 seconds. Yeah, so we're getting longer. And sometimes they're going to do like loop-de-loop, -loop, like back and around. There's going to be other obstacles and shit. It gets ridiculous. Oh god. He's looking good today. Careful there. He better stay cool. Oh, we're a good 13 seconds ahead, so I I don't know how much we gotta worry about him catching up, but if I start getting squirrely, uh, that might be a reality. Wow. I, I don't know how fast you gotta go to clear that jump. But obviously, however fast I'm going is not fast enough. I did not get a good bounce on those vans, but I will end it got with a victory. And <laughs> I flipped my car. Alright. Truck. I meant truck. Alright, so that was the first round, and yeah, it's getting more, you're getting more and more of a taste as to what, uh, you can, what you're actually going to get. Three, two, uh, the further on you get, the one, maps are just going to get longer. Oh, Jesus. Oh. My Mountaineer is getting a little uppity. Oh, he's coming up. Oh, we actually got a race here. Well, we might have a race, but I think I just broke away. Wow! What an exhibition! He's looking good today. No, he's still like right behind me. All right. I'll jump that. And there we go, finally broke away. It's a good thing this truck seems to be well made. Wow, that took my yeah, three away. seconds. Holy cow, that was a risky move. Yeah, but that's just kind of natural. Your car will always naturally run faster than everybody, I believe. Uh, so they have to use uh, turbo to catch up. 
Uh, but the other part of that... I really want to try making that jump, but the other part of that is uh, it, it requires you to not absolutely fuck it up. Well, like, you gotta handle your truck better than, say, like, what I did on that turn there. Because you go too far out, and they will absolutely penalize you. Cost you three, you know, three, four seconds, which is a lot of time. Especially since your opponent is going to be going the same speed. Okay, like, he caught up to me by, like, three-tenths of a second there. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that, those red cubes don't seem like that big of a deal until you hit one and it tanks your speed. And depending on how hard you hit it, it, it might just stay in front of you. Yes, Alright. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Yep, there it is, right there. Right in, right into the final straightaway. I'm right behind him. Oh, I just whipped him into the barricade. Made it. Flip, flip my truck again. Ooh. Yeah. And for the races, they get the, that out-of-bounds leeway it gives you gets tighter and tighter. So that was a little, that was a little too close for comfort. Oh, no. I didn't even know that was an option to just forfeit the race. Three, two, oh, it's John C. Sonic, another finals against two-time world finals racing champion. John. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, I got him. He went too far out. Alright, that just gave me a two-second head start. That he has almost single-handedly closed the gap on. Alright. Oh yeah, so when we get to see how far behind us, just just remember uh, that we got spotted about two seconds. Yeah, so he'd be a minute and a minute, a second and a half behind us, which means he would be harassing us this whole way. I did not mean to drift around that corner. I, I got a little too close to being sent out of bounds there. Alright. I'm saying we're probably about five seconds ahead, which means we've got a nice little bit of breathing room. Yeah, about five seconds. That's about what I thought. we've won the race barring some absolute shenanigans but good this might be the fastest that I've completed it yet what a show he gave us but I feel we haven't seen anything yet that's the second time I flipped my truck Oh, yep, see, you can actually kind of see that it says Nitro on it. The rookie never fails to surprise. He's teaching the veteran drivers a thing or two. As a kid, I always thought he was holding, like, a fucking trombone, and I was like, why is he holding a trombone? It makes no sense. And then I got older, and I realized this that is, is just a... 
can't wait to see it in action. Just a really bad looking trophy. Alright, there we are. Alright, we got 20 grand going into this. Hopefully we can make a fair amount of money. Drivers, no one will give you anything for free. Three, two, good good one, advice. Go. Uh Oh Jesus H Christ. Oh, there's actually something about this map I kind of wanted to mention is that if you ever have the opportunity and play this game yourself and you get the physical copy uh, with the case and everything, uh, you will actually note. Oh, Jesus Christ. You will notice that on the back, for this race in particular, there is actually a picture of Bounty Hunter on it. It's the uh, blue van that you see. However, Bounty Hunter actually isn't in the game. It's a very weird thing that happened where they made it, they modeled it. Uh, its code is in the game. Oh, Jesus Christ. I lost the tire. So, like, its code is in the game. However... Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, you had to go to, like, EB Games or GameStop. Oh, I'm missing a tire. Oh, I'm in dead last. I had to go to EB Games with your memory card that had a file of the game on it, and then they would go into the back, plug your uh, memory card into some type of machine, and then they would add the car, the truck, to your game, and that was the only way you'd be able to get it. Which is kind of a really weird way to uh, lock content. But that's something that, like, Game Freak does all the time with Pokemon. And sometimes, they'll do sh they'll make entire things, and then get to a point where they, where they just decide, you know what, I don't think I really want to do that anymore. Alright, I wanted some of that money. Because I was close enough to the pack where... I could detour a little bit. Oh, Jesus. Mountaineer. Oh, Blue Thunder just whiffed it. Just like I'm about to. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you, King Crunch. You you beautiful man. Old Bulldozer is way the fuck out there. All right, I got a race to get up in front of him. Start doing cyclones. Oh, you're right there. When the hell did I catch up to you? I ride like the wind. You're on fire. Terrific maneuver. And I think I just won the race. I did not get a lot of money out of that, though. And the winner is Iron Warrior. Well, at least I got something out of it. Okay. Here's something he doesn't tell you. If you fall in the hole, uh, you're done. You're done, son. So do that without falling into the hole yourself.
Well done. All right. I hope to see Iron Warrior in action soon again. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, it did go in. What the hell is it doing up there? Oh, I got it. Okay. I'm pushing it back. Yeah, I can just push it. Alright, I am cutting this thing really goddamn close. Not anymore. I thought that bus would take a lot more time. Finding the guy who made that car, and I'm slaughtering his family. Well done. That was bullshit. It literally got caught on the side of the hole. What a Three, two, ah, it's all falling one, apart. <laughs> Alright, let's try that one more time. God, you get one tire in that hole and your car is like, all right, this is my home now. Well done. All right, I am coming at this fucker with the might of Zeus. How is this tiny little van stopping a <laughs> a RV and a monster truck from moving forward? I want to meet the guy who built this RV. I really want to meet the guy who built this RV. 
There is no god. God is the snake, and I'm well feeding him lives. Alright, time to hit him with the might of Zeus. Well done. Oh, I actually got it in one shot. Wonderful. Make it. Make it. Oh, you're going to force me to love tap you. There we go. Made it. You're fucking high. Okay. Well, I'll come back for that one in a minute. Saving that one, because if I just got to love tap it, we should be good. Iron Warrior really deserves to win. Yeah, thanks, man. I totally don't need your patronizing ass on me. Congratulations. Thank you. You gave us a great time. That was not worth the $2,100 that I got from that. That was a uh, mental endurance because I was ready to whip my controller through a fucking TV screen. But that ends off Illinois and we move on to the fifth area of the game. And already the we're at the halfway mark. Shut up. You say that every time. Uh, but for right now, we're going to call it off here. And I'll see you again next time when we go through Minnesota.